Yeah, just a little off the top today. Hey guys, retired at 40. I just got my new project. It's a turn of the century Koken Congress barber chair. All right, so let's take a 360 around this thing and I wanna show you how cool this really is. This one has got a lot of history. It came out of Uray, Colorado, which is an old mining town. Um, so I'm sure there were many a cowboys and prospectors and all kinds of cool people that sat in this and got their hair cut. This is a Koken, which is a pretty uh, well-known brand. This was made, I'm guessing, late 1800s, early 1900s. And this was uh, one of the first chairs that had a hydraulic lift on the chair which barber chairs are so well known for now with this little lever here that kind of makes it go up and down um, but look at all the hand carved detail on the sides originally this ring would be all nickel this would be nickel this is nickeled already all this will be nickeled and I'm still kind of undecided on whether I want to get it completely re-nickeled I know it's real expensive but I know it'll really make this thing just pop out if all this stuff was all nickel too. This is actually a calf rest so you could put your feet up on here or if you were lounging you flip that over. This is supposed to be leather on here. It's pressed it out uh, but when you were reclining then you would rest your calves on here while you were kind of in the kicked back position like this and then it would have you got an adjustable head piece here and then this thing from what I can tell, this opens up. This would have paper in it. This would go over the headrest. You'd come back here, you'd cut it off. I think what makes this one so unique is that it's wood and nickel. Most of the barber chairs that you see are just uh, all nickel and some porcelain. The best thing this chair's got going for it is it is totally complete. These things are always missing one piece or another or something's broken on it. And this thing for being 120 years old has just got everything. It's all complete. The condition's pretty good, all things considered. I just love these turn of the century, any piece from turn of the century, because it's just so involved. The whole thing is just crafted. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is pull some of these bigger nickel pieces off of here, uh, just to get down to the wood and to the, the bones of the whole thing. And then I'm going to pull some of the uh, leather upholstery off. The leather's pretty shot. Um, just a little bit of extra cushion and stuff here. Uh, spring would catch you right in the butt. Look how the calf rest is stuffed with straw. Unfortunately, there is about a hundred years worth of hair in every little crack and crevice in this thing. Here's where the hair looks like. It's a good thing it's a windy day or I might vomit. I 
decided to bite the bullet and just refinish everything. I just got all the nickeling back and I've got to say that it was well worth the money. I think I would have been really disappointed if I would not have gotten all the renickling done and went through all the work to sand everything down, refinish everything, and then it was still dull, old, rusty uh, nickel. But the nickel just, it just really brightens everything up and it's going to make everything really stand out once we're done. It's going to look like a piece of jewelry almost. So I'm kind of starting to put this back together from the base up because everything is so heavy and so everything's made out of steel um, that I think that's probably the best way to do it. You can see that I've put together the base already and I just want to get a close up just so you can see how cool all the renickling looks um, in comparison to that old rusty iron. I've got the wood refinished and I've got the, uh, the base for the, the hydraulic pump put back in. I'm going to go ahead and set the, uh, the hydraulic mechanism back in there and try not to spill oil all over the place. Just get a close up for you on this handle. This is one of the things that will really make this thing pop out. This is super shiny and just looks really cool. And now we've got a functioning hydraulic. a long drawn out six month process for me. The last step is to do reupholstery on it and I think I found the perfect upholstery for it. So here we go. Look at that puppy. I ended up going with cowhide and this is all solid cowhide. It's no pieces, no nothing. I think it really Gave it something different. My wife loves it. <laughs> but I think it really makes this thing pop out. It makes it really unique, even more unique than it already is. I'll give you a close up of all the goods here. The nickel really stands out. I'm really glad that I decided to do that. I think I would have been really disappointed if I didn't go with that. I did the uh, calf rest in calf also <laughs> but really just it turned out great it's been a long six months working on this thing but uh it's well worth it it's one of my favorite things i've ever done it just turned out super cool and i can guarantee you i'm the only guy in the neighborhood that has one all right there's our back with the nail heads here's our headrest adjustment that lets it go up and down I fixed all that so it works now. I had to go inside and sand out all these little pieces in here and all along the side. But all in all, what a showstopper. Well, this is Retired at 40, reminding you to live life simple. I'll catch you next week.